Hello, my name is Andrew Ford of Andrew Ford Photography. I'm a fashion and portrait photographer here in northern New Jersey. Today I'm going to be giving you my real deal review of the Westcott Eyeliner. The first thing I noticed was how large the eyeliner actually is in comparison to other reflectors. Uh, it may not stay set up in my studio, but it definitely, definitely gets the job done when, create, when you want to create interesting catch lights and fill in shadows. Uh, putting it together took me only about 10 minutes and there were no tools required. In a minute I'm going to show you some behind the scenes footage of me at a recent shoot using the eyeliner, but first let's take a closer look. The eyeliner is built with strong aluminum allowing for lightweight durability. The assembly only took a few minutes and no tools were needed. One of the first things you've probably noticed is the unique U-shape of the eyeliner. The shape is actually modeled after the curvature of the human eye. This design produces extremely flattering catch lights, which you'll see a little later in the video. I'm set up using clamshell lighting. I have a 22 inch beauty dish positioned high above the model and the eyeliner positioned roughly 30 inches below. Here's the result of that setup. You can see there's no shadowing underneath the chin and a beautiful U-shaped catch light in the eye. I wanted to show a comparison, so I've removed the eyeliner. All my settings are the same, and I didn't adjust the output of the main light. Here's the result. As you can see, there's a lot more shadowing underneath the chin, and even my model looks a little upset that I've removed the eyeliner. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. As you can see, the eyeliner fills in the shadows and produces a pleasing U-shaped catch light in the eye. Many of you may be asking, well, wouldn't a standard reflector or piece of foam core fill in the shadows? Absolutely, but if you don't have an assistant, your model usually ends up holding the reflector, which works just fine, but that inhibits the model from moving about freely. Because the eyeliner sits in a light stand, your model can now move about and focus on just modeling. Here's a final image. As I've mentioned throughout the video, I love the catch light that the eyeliner produces. It's physically a little too large to leave permanently set up in my studio, but it doesn't take very long to set up or break down. I've only used the eyeliner in studio, but it does come with a carrying case for the on-location photographer. Overall, I'm very pleased with the Westcott eyeliner and it will be incorporated into my workflow. 